I'm not even in the fucking mood to comment it anymore, guys. I'm so fucking sorry, but I got interrupted like twice already. I had to do this commentary like literally nine times. It's so frustrating just having people interrupt you and stuff. And oh my god, I just like, oh my god, I just like I was so close to, to finishing this commentary. I was really really close, and then all of a sudden my parents walk in. My dad comes in, interrupts me. I was like so fucking pissed, and I I stopped the commentary and I was gonna resume it, but apparently. Audacity, like it, it goes to the next like track or something, and it just fucks everything up. So I don't, I don't know how to <laughs> how to manage that. But anyways, guys, oh my god, I can't. I, it's annoying trying to repeat this all over again. But uh, this is some Modern for Three gameplay on the map interchange. This is the first day back in Moab, first game back in Moab. Um, I just hopped on just some kill confirm. I got this Moab. Pretty impressive, if you ask me. But of course, none of you ask me, so um, I don't know why I say that. But anyways. Uh, hopefully I don't mess up this time. Um, I just want to tell you guys, really, it's so weird having to, like, repeat your commentaries just because you already said it, so you're, like, it's like you're talking to yourself all over again, you know, it's, it's so weird, but I have to tell you guys about this. So I just came back from a Little League soccer game. Um, my little brother is in a Little League soccer division, and he plays soccer for, against different parts, uh, in my city. So it's, um, it's like a little division. It's pretty cool. Um... So I just came back from a game, and this game was like the most entertaining, coolest game I've ever seen in my life. Not in my life, no, I, I exaggerated. But it's actually like such a cool game. Um, so, what, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? What was I going to say to you guys? Okay, so I'm going to describe the game to you guys. The first half, the other team kicked my, brother's, kicked my little brother's team's ass 3-0, to zero, so they were winning 3-0. to zero. Now the second half was the pin was like the the awesomeness of that game because my little team's brother came back three to three. They didn't win the game, but they tied it, so it was actually pretty cool. Um, they made two goal, they made two goals, they made two goals, and the last goal was super freaking clutch. It was literally the last minute of the game that he scored the goal. It was so freaking cool. Um, and the reason why it was the last minute, or like you kind of tell, is because right when he scored the goal, the ref blew the whistle and the game ended which is so cool it was 3-3 it was super clutch it was like it was like getting a clutch moab or something i don't know but it was super cool and i enjoyed watching it and stuff so uh, i just wanted to share that with you guys it was so clutch and i just have to share that with you guys it was so cool but um but yeah they they uh they tied 3-3 and um it was it was kind of cool you know and i love watching little kids play sports i don't know why but it's just so funny watching them run around having a good time and like not knowing how to play because they're not professionals obviously but when they go around trying to compete with against each other it's so funny and entertaining to watch it's kind of like this like if you guys don't understand the how it's so exciting let me put it this way in call of duty terms it's kind of like playing a domination match but um but with bad teammates it's kind of like that so it's, it was so entertaining it was so cool to watch and it was it was it was just so cool it was really really cool and i just had to share that with you guys but anyways guys when I got back, I saw the Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer trailer reveal, and I kind of want to give my opinion on it, just because everybody else is, and I just wanted to share with you guys, you know, uh, what I think about the game, and if I'm going to get it or not. So, um, yeah, first thing I noticed about this uh, this trailer, the maps. The maps look terrible. I fucking hate the maps. Like, they look so dark and filthy. Like, I know it has to be, like, the whole apocalypse theme thingy. But it, the maps just have this weird feeling with it. And, it, it, like, the maps, they didn't attract me. They didn't really attract me like like other maps do. But um, hopefully they have, you know, better maps than those. I'm pretty sure they have better maps than the ones they displayed. And, you know, the DLC will be coming out. And, you know, I, that's not really a big issue for me. But I'm just saying, like, the, the maps they displayed were actually kind of disgusting. So I just, that's what all I wanted to say. And the pinnacle, the main thing about this game that really, really attracted me was the fact that they're bringing back the Moab, or I don't know, I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know if it's a nuke or a game ending nuke or a Moab, but I'm pretty sure they're done with the game ending nukes just because after Modern for Three, Infinity Ward probably said, "Oh, a lot of people like the the Moab." You know, they they like the fact that the game didn't have to end and they could just get Moab after Moab after Moab. So um, I'm pretty sure what they what they showed was um, not a game ending nuke. I'm pretty sure it was just a Moab or something, and it was so cool. You know, like the Moab. You know how just like your whole screen just goes like super white and that's it. But this was so cool. The freaking thing came from the sky and just crashed into the earth and was like pew, 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 and it just created this whole chaos and shit, which is actually kind of cool. And I actually like uh, how they display the Moab or the nuke. I don't know what they're gonna call it, but um, I thought that was so freaking cool. And um, that's gonna be so exciting because I love getting Moabs. I love getting nukes just because I know getting going on a 24 gun streak or kill streak 
and getting rewarded for it is so it's such an amazing feeling and i know it's going to be coming like there's going to be like a shit ton of entertaining gameplay for that and i'm just gonna i just love that i love how they're bringing that back so uh that's like the main thing i'm focused on right now just the moab or the nuke or whatever they're gonna call it so uh yeah and this game plays a lot like battlefield 3 i i've noticed that like the first the first gameplay I seen of it, I was like, boom, Mon uh, Battlefield 3. It looked just like Battlefield 3. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but for me, it just did. And plus, they're adding those new dynamic settings into the game where, like, you blow up a wall and it just comes down, or you blow up a, a bridge and just it goes down or whatever, which was actually pretty cool. And I know that is going to bring for some funny, entertaining, cool gameplay. Um, just for the fact that I could do so many things, and a lot of other people could do so many things. They could like trap people in buses, and they could like blow up the buses, and they could just fall. The buses could just fall to the ground, and people could just fall to their death. I don't know how it's gonna work, but it's gonna be so funny watching people like trollers and stuff, and myself. Like I, I could do that myself, and I could post that gameplay. Uh, but I think it's gonna be so entertaining, so cool. Um, the, the the new dynamic settings and everything. Um, but um, I, I'm absolutely gonna love that. So uh, yeah. Uh, they didn't show any kill streaks, I think. I, they they showed the dragon fire and this chopper thingy, which was actually kind of cool. I don't know how the kill streaks are gonna act, but I think they'll be okay. I think they'll be uh, okay kill streaks um, as usual. They'll be. I don't. I'm pretty sure they're bringing the predator missile back. And you know, I don't think kill streaks are that big of a deal. Um, there are annoying annoying kill streaks like the hunter killer. Hopefully they don't bring that back. But I think that's the most annoying kill streak ever in the fucking game. Like any call in every in Call of Duty history, the hunter killer drone is the most annoying kill streak ever. But um, I hopefully they don't bring that back. But the kill streak's not really an issue. Um, the game modes, the game modes. Hopefully they bring back hardpoint, but I'm pretty sure that it's not. They're not gonna call it hardpoint. Um, I love hardpoint. That's like my favorite game mode in Black Ops 2. Um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring it back because a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people love hardpoint. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna call it something else. But um, they showed a list of the game modes. Um, search and rescue. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna play that a lot. It looks pretty cool. Recovering dog tags for your teammates and stuff like that. I think that's pretty competitive and pretty cool. So I'll enjoy that, but the new game modes are bringing back, you know, Infected. That's going to be so freaking cool, playing Infected. I love Infected in Mothra 3. I want to see how it plays in Ghost. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. But um, as for the fact that if I'm going to buy it or not, I don't know. Because, you know, when I watched Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2 wasn't, you know, look at the game now. You know, I thought it was so cool. I was like, man, it's going to be futuristic. No death streaks, no nothing. It's going to be so freaking cool. And then look where it's at now, you know. You try to get your killstreaks, you rage, you know, at least for me, you know, I rage so much trying to get my killstreaks and stuff like that, so I don't know how Call of Duty Ghost is going to play, you know, um, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be different. I like Infinity Ward games generally than Treyarch games, and um, I think it's going to play, play better than Black Ops 2. Um, I love how they're bringing, like, the Juggernaut and the Knifing. The Knifing, oh my god, the Knifing, guys, it's so freaking cool. They're going to, like, you could go up to, you have to go up to people, grab them, knife them, and that's it. That's so freaking cool. I love that new feature of Knifing. Um, they're bringing back the Juggernaut, um, for sure, because uh, they showed gameplay of it, and it's just so freaking cool. But, um, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. I have to decide. I'll probably talk about it later in a different commentary. But anyways, guys, that's my opinions on Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, leave a comment. Leave leave your opinion on the comment section below. Um, let, me, let me know what you guys think. What you guys uh, think the game is going to be. If you think it's going to be total bullshit, and, like, nothing's going to... It's nothing new. Just the same old game. Same, same old everything. Uh, let me know what you guys think. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my commentary. Leave a like rating if you liked the video, share it with your friends if you have any, favorite the video if you liked it very much, and as always, thanks for watching guys, subscribe if you're new, my name is Epicris, I'll talk to you guys later, peace.